Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. I'm a 24 year old cash stuffer here on YouTube. I like to do a lot of cash stuffings, cash condensing, and budget with me. And today we have $444 going into the first week of June, which is crazy to say. I feel like this year is kind of just flying by. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 405, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 444 dollars. So everything is here. If you are a cash stuffing channel or a budgeting channel, please let me know so that I can check out your channel and hopefully others can check out your channel as well. But let me know how everyone's week has been going. It has been raining a lot for me. Um, if you don't know, I was laid off in March, uh, at the beginning of March and at the end of April, I started my new job. I'm an engineer and it's getting, I like to say it's getting really fun now because things are starting to like really click and I'm starting to understand how things are, I guess, structured, you could say but I understand it a lot more now. Um, I just have to fix something. I know I need to switch out these envelopes. I will, I will. I have plans on what my next envelopes will be. Um, but if you're interested in something like this, I do have an Etsy shop, which is linked down below. What's also linked down below is a bunch of free budget sheets that you can check out and savings challenges. So. A lot of coins. We have $1, 150, 60, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 188. So I'm going to round that down to 180 and put this in my coin jar. And I'll just color in the 180 box. And I'm making some pretty good progress on this. It's just like one box uh, a week, but that's totally okay. So that is it for my coin savings challenge. Making a lot of good progress. I feel like I have more coins than last year. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm probably... Mm, two thirds of the way up. So that's really exciting. Now let's see what I have to on stuff. With groceries, we have one, two, three, four dollars. Four dollars in groceries. Let me just make a note on the side because I do have a little check-in that I like to do. Gas, I did not fill up, so I have $25 in here that I just didn't spend. So that goes there. Eating out has nothing left over, and then spending has one, two, and three dollars left over. So I have quite a bit of ones to go into my dollar savings challenge and 25 to go to whatever categories I want. But I didn't stuff these yet. My goodness. Okay. So we have groceries. This is going to get $40. So 20 and 40. I am an Aldi girl through and through. And I also meal prep. So $40 is great for me. Gas is going to get another 25. And I think this week I will be going to the gas station. My commute to work is so short now. Um, that I don't, I feel like I don't need to get gas. It's only probably like a third of the way th through the tank and I'll wait until, I'll wait to do it like next, next time. So with, um, eating out, eating out gets 30 and let's see for eating out. I haven't been eating out more. I've just been going outside more. Um, now that it's, well, well, honestly, it's been raining. So I haven't been running outside as much. 
um, and then 25 for spending. But yeah, it's just been, it's been raining so much. But whenever it doesn't rain, it feels really good because I like to run when it's a little bit colder. I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable in that temperature, you know? So that was 25 in, wait, 120 into my cash envelopes. Now I get to go to my savings binder. And for my savings binder, um, it starts off with my buffer, which is at $50. This is for any overspending in my cash envelopes. Nothing is going in there. Nothing is going into my emergency fund because I have $10,010 in here. Medical is going to be getting $25. Still don't have the results back from the allergy test. I really don't know what's going on. And I have been just absolutely miserable with the allergies. Like, I am sneezing so much. I use Zyrtec D because it also helps with um, congestion. But it's just been so, so bad. And I really just want to get these allergy shots, like, scheduled and on the way just so that hopefully these allergies aren't terrible anymore because I can't take it. We have one. Two, three hundred, four hundred, four fifty, seventy, ninety, ninety-five, and five hundred in medical. But this week I do need to get. I need to stock up on some Zyrtec D, so it won't be at five hundred for long. My future pet is gonna get fifteen. Um, another reason why I want to get allergy shots. Yes, because my allergies are getting really bad, but also because I want to get a cat. And this is me saving up for my future pet because pets can be very, very expensive. So we have one, two, 300, 310, and 315. 315 for a future cat. And I've just been looking. I wanna get a Devon Rex. I feel like they're a little bit more funky looking. Um, I feel like I explained this before, but like I visited my friend. She had uh, Siamese cats. And I loved them. I absolutely loved them. And at first I wanted to get a Siamese cat, but then I realized that they they secrete a lot of oil. <laughs> and um, I was just not a big fan of that. Um, and a Devon Rex is very similar in shape to a Siamese cat. So, and they're also still very funky. But now we have my travel envelope. This is going to get 25. This is just for any future unplanned travel and i have 100 in there so we have 125 in total for travel okay next is extra week this is for the five week months and june is a five week month so i'll be using it on the fifth week and i'm gonna put 15 dollars in here so i will take out this five i need 120 for it to be fully funded for the week, but we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in it so far. So only uh, $20 left to cash stuff, or yeah, to save up for. Jim is going to get 15. I didn't do my two runs this week. I just was so tired this week from work. We have 115 in here, and I'm gonna do the same thing again, basically where um, if I run twice for this week, then I will think about doing some AirPods because right now I run with headphones and I feel like it's a lot safer just to run with AirPods. So next is memberships. I'm putting $2 in here. Um, a lot of my subscriptions has, haven't been taken out yet, so there's still quite a lot in here, but expect it to drop next video. I'm doing $2 because I'm a little bit ahead. We have 20, 30, 35, 6, and 37 in memberships. That's for Spotify, Apple Storage, and Minecraft, and HBO Max. But the last two I do share with someone else. Roth IRA is going to get 20. And I do contribute to a Roth IRA while I'm still focusing on my car debt payoff because I feel like it is still very important for me to save and contribute to my future. Along with that, um, I do have $10 for a brokerage account, but I'm just gonna take this and put it straight to my brokerage account and like basically put it into the bank and transfer it 
so that I can just have it be in the market as soon as possible. So I'll take this, set it aside, and bring it straight to the bank. Okay, and that does it for my savings binder. Next is my sinking funds binder. We have clothes, which isn't gonna get anything because it has 100. Family is going to get 10. Now we have 50, 70, 80 in family. Christmas is gonna get 15. My goal for Christmas is 700. And to um, start working on crafts in July. We have one, two, 300, 320, 35. And if you're interested, the placeholders just represent what is in my high yield savings account. And it's also on my Etsy shop. Apartment. This is fun. I got a little like, in Aldi they had like a lightweight foldable chair. Um, and I've always wanted something like this. I watch a lot of camping videos and they have these types. And they got one and I think it was only 15, no. How much was it? Like 14, 14 dollars was it? Let me check. It was, I think 15.99 because the total was like 634. So I got it. Um, when I was looking at it at like REI, they're, they're like 70 bucks. And I can't believe I saw this at Aldi for less than $20. So I got it. We have 120, 30, 35, 6, 37, and 38. And I got my first use out of it because I went to go see a kite festival and I used it there and it was so nice. And very lightweight. I do feel like I need to get a full-sized um, camping chair though because setting it up did take a while. It is used like for camping, but I'm so glad that I got it. And it was, the Kite Fest was absolutely amazing, but more on that later. Bulk food isn't gonna get anything, but it has 150 in the bank. This is for like Sam's Club um, and any international stores next is gifts it's gonna get a 10 and it's gonna be one of my siblings birthdays so it has 110 but their birthday is gonna be this month dates i did spend out of because at the kai festival there was some food there so i got some of that um so it was just really fun i absolutely love that type of stuff. I was just outside all day. Just, it was beautiful. Kind of very lightly cloudy, but most of it was sunny. So I was just out there in the sun watching kites. And if you know what kite ballet is, it's absolutely mesmerizing to me. So I had such a fun time. Um, and I'm so excited for when it happens again. Definitely going to be bringing my own snacks and such just because it is a little bit expensive. We have 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, and 93. Is that right? Oops. 50, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, and 98. Sorry. Um, sorry, my iPad Siri is, was going to try and talk, but 98 in dates. Uh, hobbies isn't gonna be getting anything, but it has $5. Next is my Etsy shop, Mel's Paper Makes. I still haven't checked how much I got from the last month, but this has 30. And then spending is going to get 10, but I'm also going to roll over, I think just five. I'm just gonna roll over five for spending. And in total, this will now have 120, 30, 35, and 140 for spending. And I think I can use this and then I can use um, the money from my gym and possibly get the AirPods, but I really have to stick to my running goal. I've, I've been getting lazy. Honestly, that's what it is. I'm getting really tired from work and I'm like, ah, I don't want to run, but I need to. It's really good for me. I'm very lucky to be, run, to be able to run. Toiletries is going to get a 10. And I want to roll over the five as well. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50 in toiletries. So that's pretty good. 
pretty hefty amount. Household is gonna get a five, and I do need to get some sponges very soon. We have 50, 70, 75, and 80. Also, if my allergies are still gonna, are getting bad, I'm gonna try and switch detergent as well. Um, my mom told me that Sam's Club has, um, I think all, and she recommends it. Um, so if it keeps getting worse, my allergies, I'm gonna get that. Next is my Lights Out Savings Challenge. This is going to get five. And cash is in the front so that I have to don't, I don't have to color in um, like seven eighths of an, eye, of an icon. Let me see if I have my highlighter. Uh-oh, I feel like I don't have my highlighter. Oh, I do, okay. I have my red highlighter. So you will color in the car and oh my goodness, today, okay, today, I um, was the Monaco GP and um, the person that lives, that grew up and was born in Monaco finally got his first ever win. A lot of people were saying he was kind of cursed because he will start the race from the first position, but he was, he never won it. So it was very, very big. I was super, super emotional just seeing this uh this driver when they're home gp and i was i loved it um but this is a savings challenge that i made to save up for race tickets um i'll put these in the back and then i'll take out two because each icon is eight dollars i'm a big motorsports fan um F1 tickets are really expensive. There are ones that are local to me. So I'm just saving up tickets for those instead. And we have, let's count, 20, 35, 40, 45, 46. Ooh, 47, 48, 49. So 40, oh my goodness. I am doing this all wrong. We have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, Hold on, that is not right. 56, 57, 58, 59, wait. 96, 97, 98, 7, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Oh my goodness, it is 100. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm tired. <laughs> I'm too tired. I was screaming way too loud for that driver. I was just excited and super happy. But I have $100 saved for my um, my Lights Out Savings Challenge, which is exciting. I'll need it, I think, sometime in the summertime. I have to double check. Finally, I have my group binder. I have my, let me show you this way, my car, my friend's wedding, travel, and moving. Okay, so for my car, I don't know why, but I thought this, but... Um, I was like, oh, I'm going to need an oil change very soon. Yeah, no, I don't need an oil change very soon because I forgot that I have fully synthetic and fully synthetic is like 6,000 miles, not 3,000 miles. So I won't need an oil change for a while. Okay, but car, my car envelope is going to get $45. I can't, you know, what, I'm going to put this there. I like having this like dedicated for like envelopes. Okay, $20 going into car maintenance. And that's good. Let's move things around so that I can show you my lovely calculator. Hold on. My lovely calculator. So you can see the total in these envelopes. We have five, six, seven, eight hundred fifty. 875. 875 in car maintenance, which is the correct amount. 875. My car deductible is at 500. Registration is going to get this five. This is for the little sticker at the back. And now it has 25. 25 in here. And the goal amount is 175. Okay. And then $20 going into my next six-month insurance policy. 
that won't be until the fall. We have one, two, 220, 35, plus two, 235. We have $1,635 saved for my car, which is great. She has been running amazingly. I feel like I should um, clean out her, uh, the ducks for um, AC just because it's getting summertime and I really wanna make sure I get all of the pollen out there. I am struggling with all of the pollen and I hate it. Um, okay, next is my friend's wedding. This is gonna get 32, but we have, wait, 32, is that right? No, 35, my apologies for the confusion. It's just me, I'm sorry, I'm confused. <laughs> Dress and accessories has 145, transportation has 300, and I need to go through and like redo the budget because this is housing, like the original goal was 100, but I just put in um, $100 for my high yield savings, so it's at 200. I just need to fix the goal amounts. Gift is at 50. Events is at 150. Beauty appointments is at 150. Miscellaneous needs this 35. Okay, so miscellaneous has 135. Sorry, I just wrote it wrong in my little budget sheet. I wrote 32 instead of 35. So plus 132. My friend's wedding has $1,127. What in the world? Did I do it again? 132, 135, $1,130 saved up for my friend's wedding. My goodness. $40 going into travel. So since I'm flying for my friend's wedding, I thought why don't I make a little vacation out of it? So we have pre-trip at 150. Housing has 110, rental car has 225, food and drinks has 450, parking and gas has 150, miscellaneous is fully funded at 150, and then $40 is gonna go into fun. So 20, 40, and 60. $1,395 oops, saved up for travel, which is great. I only have two more envelopes to finish up for, for this envelope. Then finally, we have my moving binder. I'm not gonna be moving. Um, I thought I was at the beginning of the year, but now I'm not. Um, so safety deposit at 800, moving costs at 200, Electric and internet at 150, miscellaneous at 150, and then groceries is gonna get the $12, and it's 12 so that I can just fully fund this envelope. It has 50, 60, 70, 8, 80, 90, 100, 1, and 2, plus 102. Moving out has $1,402 saved up for it, and my plan is once I'm done stuffing this, I am done saving up for moving. And before I thought I wanted to save, um, save safety deposit to be a thousand, but since I'm not moving, um, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna work on my other financial goals instead. So that is it for my savings binder. Now we get to do my one dollar savings challenge we have one wow one two three four five six seven dollars going into my one dollar savings challenge i always open it upside down when will i learn seven dollars going into there thank you so much for watching my video i hope you all have a great day and i will see you in my next video bye